Okay, so in this video we're going to cover what are all the CRM-like features and how to use it as a CRM system. So first let's discuss like, you know, what is the definition of a CRM and everyone's got kind of a different opinion, expectation. So most CRMs are going to let you manage customers, customer relationship management, right? Uh, how you define a customer um, can vary from one company to the next, right? So generally speaking, you have what's called leads. So I'm going to go to my pipeline and let's go here. I have leads and that's just a status of a record. So the pipeline manages a bunch of records. Typically, mo you know, our clients are using this pipeline to manage loans and, uh, you know, a CRM system will give you a web form for people to in, uh, input their information. So here's our web form, which is designed to take a loan application. So our pipeline ends up being a loan application pipeline, not so much a lead pipeline, but there's no reason why you can't use it as a, a lead pipeline. Um, however, when, when you're using this web form, it tends to be uh, more of a loan application. If you enable this field here, where are you in the process? This is kind of a way to indicate whether somebody is just going to be a lead. Hey, I'm just looking for general information. Yeah, I'm an active property. You know, I'm looking for property all, all the time, but you know, I don't really have one yet. And then these right here indicate I've got a property identified. I have one under contract or I own the property. These three selected will enable the property details, loan terms, you know, if I only select, you know, looking for general information, then it's just a lead inquiry, right? Um, so that's one of the ways that you can kind of separate um, your deals as they come in. And in the, the pipeline, you'll, you can manage all these with statuses, right? So you can create as many statuses as you want, different types of leads, different types of sources of leads. Um, and then you get into the advanced search section, you could filter by you know lead source right so i can select by different lead sources i can select by different statuses so i want to see only leads in my list view and of course you can show hide columns here which gives you a very customized view of the columns of data that are here right so those are all very important crm like features taking it deeper you're going to want to be able to contact your leads or your borrowers um, in different ways. It could be email, it could be texting, uh, it could be calling, and, and people need to know which ones they contacted last. Um, managers want to know who their loan officers are calling and contacting. And so that's where, you know, the system here tracks last action. And then when you mouse over this little notes icon, you can see the whole history of everything that's been taking place on a file. Okay, that's called system generated notes. So that's, uh, that's helpful there. We also have this activity feed that lets you see everything that's been going on. So it gives you complete visibility on, on, on all your work and stuff that's going on company wide or individually, just my own activity and my own notes, etc. Um, so again, the pipeline is a great way to manage leads and loans, right? As a lead converts to a loan, it's nice that it moves, you know, to the right. It flows nicely. Um, however, our system was designed to help you segregate, you know, this loan pipeline, right? Maybe you want to leave it just for loans. And I want to go over here and look at my borrowers because borrowers are separate from loans, right? So this guy, this borrower, you know, which is a contact, he has 27 loans. You know, I, I've issued a credit line for him and I've issued 47 million in, in loans for this guy. So he's exceeded his credit line quite a bit, right? Um, you can click on this borrower and take a look at his profile. Notice that he's got a VIP tag. You can click on that and change his tag or add additional, additional uh, tags if you want or change the tags. So this guy's an experienced guy as well. So you can add that there. I'm opening up this guy's profile. And you can see his background info, you know, what entities, what entities does this guy have? 
established, his experience, um, his assets. All this information is derived from his last loan that he created in the system. And it constantly gets updated with whatever, whatever his last loan was. And then here's some internal information. Some borrowers can be approved or denied you know, when you're dealing with credit lines. Right, so there's a credit line amount. Like, and what's the max LTV you want to give this guy um, based on his experience? Uh, so all this information, these, are, these all are available with merge tags that you can populate like an approval letter for him. And then you can keep track of your, your notes on this guy that's internally, right? And then if, if your borrowers, I'm sorry, brokers or branch managers want to put notes on this guy, they can put their notes here. Um, and it gives you a running log of all your notes on this guy. Um, so you have a borrower list. I can send out an email to all my borrowers, click on that little email icon, and it'll give me a list of my templates. So I could select, you know, maybe a marketing template here, and I could, you know, send out my promotion for the month to all my, all my borrowers. Okay. I can do the same thing from, from my pipeline as well. It'll, it'll automatically dedupe, you know, in case there's duplicate borrowers in here. Um, but these should all be unique uh, borrower lists should be all unique borrowers. Um, you know, an, uh, another important feature that's available uh, you know, in the pipeline here is the ability to set sub statuses. Okay, so when you click sub status, uh, let's look for a category called lead status, right? Bad lead, cold lead, contract sent, discussing with partner, left message, unavailable, right? So those are all different tags or st sub statuses. You can create your own, right? You can create lead type. So there's, that's a good, what a good CRM does is it gives you flexibility to, to call things what you want and make them searchable later, right? So if I'm in my pipeline and I wanna see all my leads that have a certain sub status, I can sort by that and I can multi-select uh, different ones, right? So there's many different categories that you can create for different reasons. Funding source, lead status, um, processing statuses, servicing, underwriting, denial reasons. Why did this uh, get denied, right? So it's, it's nice to, to be able to run reports on that. And I could export all this and get a nice report showing me, you know, all my files uh, and, and why they got denied for, for whatever reason. Um, next, um, We'll talk about um, the email marketing, which we showed you a little bit ago. It's available here in the pipeline. So again, I can select all, choose here, select my template, and then um, I have all my templates in here. So you, you can create your own templates um, and put merge tags in there so it populates you know, the borrower's name, property address, or any information you have on them. If you go here, you'll see that in the email wizard, tool, that's where you go to create all your email templates. And we, and we give you a bunch of templates in here to go off of. Um, you can customize any of these like marketing. So here's a nice little marketing email. So you can customize that and make it say whatever you want. Um, the next what we're going to go over is, yeah, the next one I'll show you here is the pipeline, little folder icon click on that guy and it should open up a, a little a little drop down section here and you can set your borrower callback. So you just click that little icon, set the date that you want to follow up with a callback and then you go over here to your calendar, right? Just click on this calendar icon and you're going to see all these different dates on your calendar. So for me, what I'm interested in seeing is let's say um, callback dates. So here I have Bob Brown, I have Johnny Investor, Michael Becker, and then you can click on these and it takes you right to their loan file. Um, and you can sort, I wanna see only uh, callback dates, right? Or maybe I wanna see loans that are maturing, or I wanna see closings, or I wanna see all my tasks, right? So there's, there's all kinds of dates that show up and they always link to the loan file, by the way. And back to your dashboard, a good CRM system will kind of give you at a glance some really important information. This gives me a summary of where all my deals are at. And if I'm a loan officer, I'm going to see the same dash, but only for loans that belong to me, 
not anybody else's of course and uh, when it comes to looking at a specific deal um, you know this is you know a loan that's in process I'll have workflows that I can see what's been done what's missing and that's that's important right so I want everyone to see what's been done right if you look here uh, these are all the things that have been done these are things that need to be done so that's 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 really good visibility and collaboration between a team to see everything that's been done also you'll see all your most recent deals here and you know how long it takes deals to move from one uh, status to the next and you know from a manager you're going to see who all your top producers are on the loan officer level and then of course you can see where all your tasks are at individual tasks can be marked off and they're color coded to show you which ones are done which ones are completed in progress this little cool heat map shows you where most of your deals are at and and you know lead sources are always important from a CRM perspective you want to know where do most of your deals come from so you can focus more on those uh, lead channels and marketing channels another cool feature we have is we have this call wise integration which lets you integrate with a soft phone or a texting tool and everybody in your team can text the borrower and you can see like a running conversation of everything so you usually get a fast response when you text someone so this is a great interface to let you text with people and um, you know whenever you're sending out a message we make it easy to communicate with whoever whenever if I'm just making a general update I can type that in here if it's a specific note from a call that I made or a billing particular note or maybe it's something from the lender or draw related so I can categorize my notes however I want and if I think it's really important to notify someone I'll say yes I want to notify someone and then here you can notify um, the bar where the co bar or loan officer any of your employees the ones that are in red are actually assigned to this loan file so I can notify those people that are involved and uh, you even have options to notify outside parties right the investor or inspector or BPO rep title rep insurance rep or I could just type in a random email that I think needs to know this important update yeah, so we try to make it easy we record everything here very user-friendly so that summarizes all the CRM features um, scattered throughout the application from the pipeline inside the loan the dashboard and the borrower list hope that helps